Tech Up. I'm your host, Sarah Ingram, and we're bringing you science and technology news courtesy of our friends at Futurism. Telescopic eyeballs that you can change with the wink of an eye, tattoo removal cream that might just be magic, adorable drones that could save your life in a pinch, body clones that hopefully don't escape their holding facilities, and more. Paging Archer Sterling, the US NSA has found ways to hide spyware deep within hard drives from some of the top manufacturers. Reports have said they have found personal computers in 30 countries infected with one or more of their spying programs, including Iran, Russia, Pakistan, China, and Algeria. The targets included government and military institutions, telecommunication companies, banks, energy companies, nuclear researchers, media, and Islamic activists. The firm declined to publicly name the country behind the spying campaign, but said it was closely linked to Stuxnet, the NSA-led cyber weapon that was used to attack Iran's uranium enrichment facility. This disclosure could further hurt the NSA's spying capabilities, which have already been damaged by the leaks led by Edward Snowden. Ever wanted a twin? Soldiers could now be scanned before entering battle and a 3D virtual twin kept online in case they need 3D bones printed or other medical procedures in the field. Reminiscent of the movie The Island, experts at the University of Nevada are in discussion with the U.S. military to create records of virtual soldiers which could be referred to by army surgeons. Already used to practice dissections, the tables work by taking x-rays, ultrasounds, and MRIs to create an exact replica of a human body. Experts are now in talks to use the technology to scan healthy people to create a personal three-dimensional record so that it can be compared with later scans after an injury. This could be incredibly helpful for soldiers in the field. Just make sure that there's top-notch security at the facility the clones are being held at. Local Dow student Alec Falkenham is making huge headlines with his PhD research, a tattoo removal cream. When you get a tattoo, some of the ink is drawn out as a foreign body, which is stored in your lymph nodes. This cream allows a drug to penetrate the skin, reactivating those antibodies that will attack the remaining pigment, leaving the surrounding cells untouched. As of now, he cannot say how many treatments would be necessary, because at this point he is only working on mice, but hopes the cream will eventually become a consumer product. This patent is bound to be worth millions, so now that he's finished his PhD, he could realistically retire. Live in the dream! A US-wide team now believes they could soon have memory assistance programs implanted in human volunteers in as little as two years. The scientists believe they have cracked how long-term memories are made, stored, and retrieved, and how to replicate this process in brains that are damaged, particularly by stroke or localized injury. They record a memory being made in an undamaged area of the brain, then use that data to predict what a damaged area downstream should be doing. Electrodes are then used to stimulate the damaged area to replicate the action of the undamaged cells. The team's experiments have shown that certain brain functions can be replaced with signals via electrodes. Much of the work that remains now is how to shrink the electronics down in size. I had something else to say, but I forget, so let's move on. Telescopic contact lenses that allow the viewer to change between magnified and normal vision are coming into focus. Developed by a team at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Switzerland, the rigid contact lens covers the sclera, or whites of the eyes, making it larger than an ordinary lens. Within it are tiny aluminum mirrors arranged in a ring around the center. When light streams through, the mirrors bounce it around several times, causing objects to appear 2.8 times larger than they really are. To toggle between the magnified and normal views, a pair of electronic glasses are worn with the contact lenses. A wink with one eye will turn it to the telescopic lens, and a wink to the other eye will change it back to the normal size. The latest prototype, unveiled at the AAAS annual meeting in San Jose, California, could one day help people with visual impairment. The lenses might be particularly useful for people with macular degeneration, a debilitating condition in which people gradually lose their central vision. Tesla is working on a battery that can help power your home, as well as help large-scale utilities store power more efficiently. 
Designs for a home or business battery are already complete and will likely be unveiled to the public in the next month or two, with production as little as six months away. Although many of today's homes draw energy directly from the electricity grid, the spread of cheap solar panels means it's never been easier to generate some of your own. Storing renewables efficiently has been a big bottleneck for consumers and for utilities alike, but if Tesla's stationary battery takes off, it could change the way electricity is priced and traded on a market scale. Come on now, what kind of episode of Tech Up would this be if there wasn't at least one battery story? Adorable and kind of weird looking drones could potentially save your butt after winning the Drones for Good competition. Flyability's Gimbal has the unusual ability to squeeze into tight indoor spaces and search for potential disaster victims thanks to an unusual geodesic design. The entire UAV is a two-prop, electronically stabilized gimbal surrounded by a tough, lightweight carbon fiber cage. Instead of trying to avoid obstacles, which is a very difficult feat, the gimbal just can plow right through them, bounce off, and then carry on to its destination. It can also roll around the ground or a ceiling. The team will now develop the product specifically for first responders, adding features like infrared imaging for dark or smoky environments and better indoor localization. This little superhero beat out 39 other drones in the competition and the developers hope to have them ready within the year. So cute! Astronomers have assumed that strange ripples in our Milky Way might be caused by an unseen dwarf galaxy made of dark matter, and now they think they've found it. RIT astronomers analyzed near-infrared data from the European Southern Observatory's VISTA telescope to discover four young stars clustered in the constellation Norma. These stars are likely the signature of this predicted galaxy, suggesting the dwarf galaxy is difficult to see through the obscuring dust of our own galaxy and because the majority of its mass is invisible dark matter. A 2009 study predicted a specific mass and location for the unseen galaxy, and radiation from the four new discovered stars, known as Cepheid variables, allowed them to derive accurate distances and test the prediction. If there's one thing that I've learned from growing up on sci-fi TVs and movies, it's that dark matter should not be fooled around with. Thanks again to the folks at Futurism for supplying us with this month's biggest news bits. Make sure you follow Futurism online so you can keep up to date with all the science and technology news as it happens. That wraps up this episode of Tech Up. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions on our Facebook page or on Twitter. Tell us what you like about the show and what you want to see. I'm Sarah Ingram and we'll talk to you next time. This darkness seems so bright to me Tell me what is so wrong Tell me what you've been waiting on I've been catching you singing along with every word I sing well, are you